What is up everyone, Triple Nipple Nick. I'm making a video to tell you about my experience and the lessons I've learned. Just explaining what to expect if you're getting into drop shipping, what you need to know about the business model after two months of experience. And I'm out here in the Sequoia Mountains with a cat. Hi, Buffy. Very cute cat. Um, so yeah, well, let's just jump into it. The first thing I would say that I learned is that people will tell you drop shipping is a lean business model. And as far as e-commerce goes, it is the leanest business model in e-commerce. However, it is still a full-fledged business. If you're actually going to be running things at a profitable scale, you're going to need customer service. You're going to need a quality supplier that you can rely on. Um, and if you're going to be doing it for any amount of time with reputability, you're going to probably need to be able to customize your product pretty quick. And so that's a lot. You are really going to be sourcing the product. The only thing is that you're not shipping it out yourself. But even in a normal e-commerce brand, you'd be hiring someone else to ship it out or hold it in a warehouse like with a 3PL. So the first thing is that it sounds like a very lean business model, and in a sense it is, but as far as ways to make money, if you look at something like affiliate marketing, you're just learning how to make viral videos that advertise a product, and that's extremely lean. You're doing one service for a company. The thing with dropshipping is that you are completely starting your own business. It's just that you're outsourcing the fulfillment. Um, so as far as being a lean business model, it's not covering the whole thing, but it's not as simple as just freelancing some kind of work or something like that. It really is a lot. And so that kind of is what makes me question if I really want to put time into it is the fact that it would take a lot of effort and that's not a bad thing. The return would be worth it. You can build a brand doing dropshipping. And you can build a company that lasts for some time if you transition out of dropshipping. But if you're going to be going into the effort of building a business like that, you should really put a lot of time into thinking what you actually want to do. Dropshipping is not this super lean business model that you can just get up and running, learn some things about business, make some money. Um, if you're going to be getting to the point where you're good at it and you know how to do all the different things from building a website, marketing, customer service, outsourcing all these things... Um, or doing them yourself, you really want to make sure this is something you care about. And there are some people out there who just enjoy business and care about money, but that's not me. I'd rather do work that aligns with my values, that I find meaningful, and that I enjoy doing. Generally, that would be outside work for me. I don't like looking at a computer. And to, to make dropshipping work, I would kind of be doing that for, for some years. So don't get sucked into thinking it's a super lean business model. That's the first thing I would say. Um, the next thing I would say. So that's the first thing. And the next thing I would say is that you really need to think about if you're putting that much time into something and you're starting your own business, you should really think about doing what you actually want to do. Um, it's It'd be much easier to simply learn some kind of skill like web design, video editing, all of these small things that go into drop shipping and start freelancing that skill. And then if you wanna, if you think you can roll that over into a business that you're passionate about, um, and that might not be the right word that you actually want to do, then you can do that later. But because dropshipping really isn't that lean of a business model, I think if you're putting all that effort, you should really put it into doing something you want to do. Whereas, and maybe that's what it is, but for most people, it's not. Um, and otherwise, you could maybe just get a job or start doing some freelancing if you need money now. Um, but if you need money now, I wouldn't recommend drop shipping. And if if you're building something long term, think about if that's what you really want to build. Like, and the best way to do that is what this concept called small bets is to just try it for a while. It's a very low input thing. So I don't think I've wasted my time. I think I've learned that that's just not the kind of thing I want to do. And so what have I learned about the dropshipping market? Is it overly saturated? Can you actually make money doing it? It seems to me that you can hop on trends and make some money in the short term. If you get really good at setting up a site fast and you get some good suppliers, you can hop on trends and, and make some quick money. However, if you're really going to be doing something more long term, the only way, and a lot of people will say this, is to build a brand and then to just use dropshipping as the first fulfillment method while you're building a brand. And for me, if I'm going to be building a brand, I want to do it around um, healthy products, things that are sustainable. And you can't really find that with dropshipping suppliers. Like take something like 
an all natural plant-based body lotion or 100% organic clothing. These kind of things are very niche custom products, things that are actually healthy and sustainable, and you're not gonna be able to find a cheap supplier. Dropshipping right now pretty much entirely relies off of fulfillment from China with cheap products that you're convincing people are worth more than they actually are. And you can find useful products that aren't extremely unethical in and of themselves, but then at the end of the day, you're just relying on cheap labor from China to make those products and then convincing people they're worth more than they are. Um, so really this isn't a kind of a method of long-term value creation. And if you look at the worst work of Wallace Waddles, one of the first new age authors who wrote The Science of Success, one key concept that really made me realize that this isn't a good business model is that this is a competition business model that you're you're just finding a gap in the market and trying to stick yourself in there to make a quick buck instead of actual creative value creation. And so just like the video I made with meme coins, it can kind of be a distraction. If you are really into e-commerce and you care about it, um, or you just want to develop mastery in it, however you frame building a meaningful career, um, then this is a good way to learn about e-commerce. But otherwise, you're really not gonna be getting in touch with your creative faculties. You're not gonna be building the long-term mastery and creative expression that will give you a meaningful career. So if you're thinking of getting into drop shipping and you're kind of thinking about these questions like, is it too saturated? Um, no, it's not too saturated. It's just that you can't be selling shitty products. You have to build a brand um, around a specific niche and then you can you can basically sell anything pretty much. I, I can't remember the percentage, but it might be a third of e-commerce is done through drop shipping. It's just a fulfillment model. It's just simply that you can't drop ship shitty products as effectively. You can still hop on some trends, but it's not like there's just going to be these trending products. You can just throw up a store and just keep doing that all the time. So is drop shipping too saturated? Look deeper. Why, why are you asking that? If what you like doing is e-commerce and you actually think that that is going to be what you want to build a career in, then it doesn't matter like what trends are going on. Of course, you can start doing drop shipping to learn e-commerce and then transition into a more long-term fulfillment model. But I'd say for most people, they're just kind of getting sucked into what this book Reality Transurfing calls a pendulum. It's kind of this collective thought pattern that lures people in with promises of rewards. And so instead of looking outward, at people telling you you should do drop shipping, look inward at what you're good at, what you value, and what can actually create value in the world that you can make money doing. And this can be a multi-year long process, figuring out these kind of things. And I'm in that process. I've simply just been trying to figure it out for a few years. And this was one little experiment I ran during it. I actually started trying to figure this out about six or seven years ago. So one thing you can do is pretend that money is no object sit there get all quiet lay down and visualize that you have all the money in the world and you went out you spent some money you had some fun and now you're kind of bored and you're thinking what do i want to do with my life how can i sleep at night what kind of work do i want to engage in what kind of creative projects and for some people like it's just they want to paint or something like that but for me i'm not that kind of creative person but everyone has some type of creativity that they need to get in touch with. It just isn't, might not be your typical conventional understanding of creativity. So if money were no object, as Alan Watts says in one of his videos, what would you do? And if the answer is you'd have an e-commerce brand and you want to own a brand, outsource all the daily tasks and work on building a brand image, working with influencers and making video about a product, um, perhaps a product that you actually believe will help the world, uh, whether you care about the environment or you care about improving people's lives or things like this, then great. But my guess is that this is kind of a means to an end. And you're never going to be able to manifest or visualize a result by thinking about the means to an end. You need to think about the end product directly and eliminate those limiting beliefs that you need this to get there. And instead, if money is needed to make you get to the thing that you want, it will come in the process. Otherwise, it won't if it's not needed. So focus on, focus on what you actually want. And you'll find that 
for the most part, most of most of the people who want to get into dropshipping are wasting their time.